Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I recently, a viewer wrote me, and uh, she asked me, how do I normally clean my walk? And she told me that sometimes her walk is very easy to clean. And most of the time, it is not difficult at all. But once in a while, it would take her up to 10 or 15 minutes to clean her walk. I used to hate to clean my walk as well. But I don't think anybody likes any cleaning. And this is probably why everything is now uh, disposable. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have disposable walks. Actually, I'm glad that we don't have that uh, because that would not be good for the environment. In this video, I'm going to show you my routine uh, in cleaning my walk. Uh, for my everyday cooking, I use uh, a Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok. Uh, I like this wok for many reasons. The primary reason that it is very easy to clean, uh, which I can keep it clean and spotless all the time. And by using my spot seasoning method, I can create a uh, non-stick cook surface every time before I cook. I used to use woks of other cooked surfaces such as carbon steel, cast iron, and light cast iron. And the reason that I switch away from these woks is because they are more difficult to keep clean. And you have to thoroughly dry the wok each time before you put them away because uh, they would rust otherwise. I like the fact that each time when I start cooking, uh, my wok look clean and pristine. Okay, let's first gather uh, those things that I normally use in cleaning my wok. The first and foremost is the wok spatula, uh, which turned out to be one of the most important cleaning tools. And next is the wok brush. I use a Pimara brush. And the reason it's called Pimara brush is because the bristle of this brush are made out from natural palm fiber. Uh, you can buy this kind of brush from many cleaning supplies places as well as uh, uh, in places such as Walmart. And of course, you can also order it online. And next is scrub sponge. I usually use the Scotch Bright heavy duty scrub sponge uh, made by 3M. Actually, this is everything I need uh, for me to clean my wok. Uh, I do not use any uh, dishwashing detergent. And I do not use any scrubbing agents such as Comet. And to create a non-stick cook surface on the wok is the first thing you need to do. I use my spot seasoning method each time before I cook. It is easy to know whether you have uh, done it right or not. Uh, simply by frying an egg. If your egg does not stick to the surface of the wok, you know you have been successful. Uh, however, cooking uh, in a wok with natural surface is a dynamic process. In some types of cooking, you have no problem uh, with food stick and burn to the surface of the wok. However, in other types of cooking, this is more likely to happen. For example, you notice here that uh, things got stuck to the bottom of the wok. This is where the wok spatula comes into really handy. And because you can use it as a scraper uh, to clean the wok surface at the time as you stir frying the contents. And this will prevent food from accumulating on the surface of the wok and to get burned. And for most of the time, this scraping process works pretty well. But for some of the time, things will stuck and burn to the bottom of the wok that is almost impossible to remove with the wok spatula. And when that happens, you see a discoloration on the surface of the wok. And this could range from superficial lightly stained uh, to deeply and darkly stained. And when that happens, the wok spatula is not going to help. Uh, this dark stain is also going to be difficult to clean uh, when you wash this wok in the sink. And uh, when this happens, I find the most effective way is to add a small amount of water over the surface. I always take advantage in adding this amount of water when it is called for the dish such as needing the water to steam the ingredients, or needing the water to create a sauce. Uh, you notice that as soon as the water hits the wok, it starts to boil and steam almost immediately. Uh, this is the power of the cleaning process. Uh, with the wok spatula, you can easily uh, detach uh, these burned materials, as well as to remove the dark stain. 
This will make the cleaning much easier when you take it to the sink. I have found that good part of the cleaning process actually happen while you cook. And when I cook, I often pay attention to what happened to the wok. I will try to minimize anything that will cause food to burn and stick to the bottom of the wok. So that this will make my cleaning easier. And when I take the wok to the sink, uh, I want to uh, make sure that I will not spend more than one minute to finish cleaning the wok. And when I bring the wok to the sink, the first thing I do is that I will use the wok spatula to scrape off anything that might attach to the surface of the wok. I will then rinse the wok with uh, running water to remove any debris that might still remain. And if you have sufficient water pressure, uh, the spray is also a very good way to remove the debris. Uh, removing the debris is important uh, because it will prevent the debris to get stuck among the bristles of the wok brush. I choose the Pimara wok brush over other type of brushes. Uh, first and foremost, it is size. When you first look at it, it might seem big to you, but it's perfect for a 14-inch wok. I also like the bristles of the brush. Uh, since it's made from natural fiber, it is quite sturdy, as well as long-lasting. Because of its size, it makes cleaning the wok very efficient. I will brush the wok under running water until the water runs clean. And that usually takes about 30 to 45 seconds. Under most circumstances, this cleaning is sufficient. And when you look at the wok, it should be completely clean and spotless. However, half of the time, there will be still some remaining residues left on the surface of the wok that could not be cleaned by the Pamara brush. This is when I'm going to use my 3M Scotch Bright scrubbing sponge. Uh, this sponge has a heavy duty scrubbing pad, uh, which will really dig into the surface of the wok uh, to remove any residual debris as well as stain that could not be removed by the Pamara brush. Uh, by this point, I usually turn the water off uh, so I can see precisely where to apply the scrubbing. And usually, it takes only about uh, 10 to 15 seconds to finish off the job. And because of the abrasive nature of the scrubbing pad, it uh, will leave some fine scratch mark on the surface of the wok. But it does not affect the appearance of the wok at all. It actually gives the wok a brush metal look, uh, which is popular in modern stainless steel appliance. But most importantly, uh, this approach will keep the wok clean, shiny, and pristine, which is very important to me personally. As my wife would say for some other people, it's just vanity. But to me, I really liked this aspect of a stainless steel cookware. I next turn the wok upside down to drain out as much water as possible. Then I squeeze out any excess water in the sponge, and I use the sponge to dry off the remaining water in the wok. And most of the time, this is good enough. It will save me a piece of paper towel or a use of a regular towel. I usually turn the wok upside down. I first use the sponge to remove any excess water. And then I use the scrub pad to remove uh, stains from the bottom of the wok. Uh, the scrubbing is more superficial than a deep scrubbing. I want to keep the bottom of the wok looking relatively respectable. And then once in a while, I will do a deep scrubbing. I then hang up the wok to dry. And this is my normal routine uh, in cleaning my wok. And the final cleaning step uh, after I put it into the sink uh, to the time when I hang it up is usually not more than two to three minutes. In fact, I usually clean the wok before I sit down to eat. That makes the cleanup easier afterward. However, there are times uh, the wok could be very badly burned uh, because due to mistakes that I make in the cooking process. And I will show you how I deal with this type of situation uh, in future videos. Without any question, efficiency is an important part of the cooking process. And efficiency in cleaning uh, is quite significant. In future videos, I will continue to show you tips for how to make your cooking more efficient. And thank you for watching. I post a video every day to demonstrate my fast cooking system. 
If you'd like to learn more as well as to adopt the cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm glad that you joined me today, and I will see you tomorrow.